good news for budget travelers, and all travelers really, one of the best things you can do in Madrid is just wander around. The streets of Madrid are gorgeous. Art, architecture, sculptures, parks, cafes, shops, windy European roads. The streets of Madrid are filled with life. A great plan is to have no plan at all and head into the streets and check it out. If you really need some kind of general plan, maybe you need to relax a little bit. You're on vacation, man. But if you must, go to Puerto del Sol, and from there there's fun in 360 degrees. Oftentimes, looking for things can get in the way of seeing things. So we recommend you just go and see what you see, and then go in another direction and repeat. Madrid streets are filled with things to do, see, eat, and drink. You can't go wrong. Just pick a direction and go. We can recommend to those short on time not to miss the streets south of Puerto del Sol subway stop. These streets are packed with restaurants, bars, cafes, one after another, each with its own menu and decor. This area has a very local and uniquely Madrid feel to it and is a great area to get some local culture. We missed this area on our first few passes, but ended up thinking it was the most interesting. There are many parks and awesome gardens throughout the city. The largest and perhaps most beloved is Retirio Park. Retirio Park is to Madrid what Central Park is to New York City. A large, loved, beautiful park in the middle of the city, perfect for activities of all sorts or complete laziness, whatever you might be in the mood for. Drink a coffee, smoke a cigarette, make out on the grass, whatever, it's Europe. We have walked the streets of Madrid for days and tired of them not at all. As we wander through the streets of Madrid, we begin to wonder, is it more amazing that all this exists for us to wander through today? Or is it more amazing that all this also existed for people hundreds of years ago to wander through as well? <laughs>